Hi, my name is Igor Sandman. I make a pixel art piece every day. Uh, the topic today is flip flop. And uh, you might be wondering why I have a samurai on here. That's because uh, what I want to do is uh, create a samurai with, with wearing this, these, uh, you know, those uh, kind of flip flops, you know what I mean? With this foot here. So that's what I want to try and do today. Something like that. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's that's coming from uh, uh, that's uh, that Oichi versus jo Yojimbo. I don't know if you've seen that film. It's a great film. I've taken this picture because I want to use this pose. It's in the background, but um, I'm gonna guess what I can see. What I'm gonna use what I can see and what's hidden. I will just guess it. But what I want is uh, one foot like this on from the side and the other one from the front in the in uh like this something like this you know what i mean so that's what i'm going to to paint i'm going to use uh toshiro mifune here as a reference uh, before i do that i got a question on youtube from uh, i don't know how to pronounce it uh, empolek or something uh, asking how I make my uh, palette and basically in Photoshop you have two ways of doing it you can use the standard palette that's built in in a Photoshop I don't use it I used to but uh, I dropped it it's still there in case I want to pick an older color the reason why I don't use it is because it's a technical reason really like uh, let's see you see now I've got the blue selected. If I want to select the purple, I hold I hold Alt, and it will uh, pop up the the eyedropper, right? So now I've got the purple. But the thing is, when you're in here, if you hold Alt, you see those scissors? That will cut your color definitely. You won't. You will lose it for good. So I don't know why they do. They did that. Uh, why Adobe did that? I think it's stupid, but. That's one of the reason a reason uh, I dropped this palette because uh, I keep losing colors. The other re the other way is uh, creating a PNG and dropping all the colors that you want. And uh, what I do is, uh, you know, I mentioned uh, the CNS eighty eight palette by Arne by Android is a uh, artist name. So I would uh, take this and pick some colors. I bring this in Photoshop and pick the colors that I like and sort them here, put the greens together, the blues together and whatnot. So yeah, uh, if you have more questions, I know you asked general tips on process and whatnot, but it's very hard for me to, to uh, give you any tips if it's too, too broad or too, and too general. So if you have specific question, I'd be happy to answer. So don't hesitate to keep asking questions. But for now, let's paint our samurai. Uh, black hair. Trying to represent the the typical samurai hairdo. There's a top knot, and it's not really obvious on this picture. I've got it bigger on the on the uh, other screen. It's not really obvious because this character is not the, your typical samurai, you know. But yeah, something like that should work. And then uh, he's got the sideburns. something like this and then yeah that's my silhouette let's paint the body uh, what kind of color do I want for the kimono 
maybe brown that would be cool I rarely use brown all across the picture so maybe I should do that so he's kind of leaning forward but not too much and then he will have that's, I think that's too much Yeah, and then something like that. Mm, let's see. Black belt. And then the pants. I will, mm, I need more room. Let's make it 50. I won't need that much room, but uh, I'd rather have too much than too little. So it's something like this. And the other one is coming towards the camera and back. Yeah, it's not not great, but I don't think I should worry too much because it's going to I, we won't really see the legs since I will have something like this, right? So I think it works. Let's bring the head the head lower. Like that. That's great. Here I will have, I will probably have a lot of shadow on this side because I will have another arm on top. I should paint the 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 hands and then worry about that. Hmm. Yeah, let's place the hands. So I've got one one hand here and one at the belt and in between I will have a two pixel sword and it will be right now I'm making it all black but uh, you know what I should whoops do it on another layer and Uh, trying to think. It's a bit uh, technical what I'm doing it here, but uh, I'm trying to find a way to to paint one line behind, like so. And I can probably make it uh, go all the way to here. Something like that. And then here in the middle, I will come back with a, a purple and a blue to create the, the, the metal, like uh, here. So I get this back at the same time, which is nice. And a little bit of blue. I'm adding detail already here because it's important to understand where, if it's working or not. 
and I think it is working. So I will need the arm to come here and I will need an arm here. It can flatten now. We'll need an arm in front. So it's going to be bent backwards. Something like that. It's not very pretty, but yeah, like that, I think it works. It looks a bit too crouch, right? I think the shoulder is too high. Let's try and paint the shoulder from oops from here to here maybe. Yeah. Let's add a quick shadow down here. Oops, I slipped. All right, so I'm already using my darkest brown. Should probably light this guy. Let's get rid of that. I will come back to it later. When, what I need now is make sure We can uh, read the foot and uh, and the flip flops since that's the topic. So I want to make sure it works. Uh, I think there's a problem of balance. I think this is coming too far forward. No, not really. Not happy with that. That angle here. It's not working, but it could work if I just moved it, I think. Uh, if I did something like, no, that's not working. I think I need to spread them out further. Let's try it. Instead of moving the, the one in front, I will try and move this one. That's nice. Let's try and move the face around. Yeah, it was too far forward. Here is perfect. So I wanted to do that. Mm. Let's bring some of the skin color back. Like that. And you shouldn't have that color here. Uh, yeah, it's much better. Still not very happy with the foot, but um, 
think I will find a way to make it work. <clears throat> well, I know, oops, I know eventually I will find a way to make it work. But let's see, the important part, since it's the topic of the day. Yes, then maybe light the side and here light the front. That's kind of nice. I think the white is coming out to too obvious but if I do that and then come back with a little bit of light on top I can make it work that's great I like it I think the torso is too small or I don't know, it's a style you know, on its own, but I think I should bring the entire thing higher, F starting from here, and let's get rid of that. And that is nice. Starting to get less cartoony, well, it's still very stylized, but It has more of a cool factor, if you know what I mean, with this, these proportions. But then again, something is wrong with, let's see, maybe it's too... Yeah. But then obviously this is supposed to go much further. Yeah, it's supposed to be lower. I'm, I'm, if I keep this, I, I kind of like the proportion that I got, but if I keep that, I will have to change too much of it. Let's try and get back as far as undo can bring me. And maybe, uh, maybe a little bit like this, but then I will still have to, to make this longer because all this is supposed to go inside this, so, uh, I guess like this the line needs to be perfect though yeah that's better let's add some detail to this guy I think the, the overall silhouette is working. It's fine. Maybe I need some shadow on this side of the leg. Let's try that. Something like this. Yeah. So let's add some detail. I will drop a quick shadow under, underneath. Let's um, do that instead. It's too long though. Mm. 
All right. Let's add some detail to the face. seem to be working uh, on another layer well no let's paint it here so black eyes uh, this um, blue here white white yeah it's nice Yep, I can see a red, an indication of something red, like a ribbon or something in his, uh, in his hair. Uh, it makes him look very feminine, right? This is nice. Right, let's keep that. Uh, I think I need to bring the shoulder, the entire arm here. I need to bring it further to the to the right. I think that might be too much, but um, let's try it first. Yeah, it's not pretty. So this hand is like this. With the thumb in the back. And that's sick, I think that's it. Then that hand is probably the same position as that one, which means I need a light here. Maybe all the way to there. And there, that's nice. Let's see, what can I add to this dude? Uh, I like it, but um, I think I can add some detail to it. Like maybe the extra, the extra sword on his side. I don't know. Let's see if I can bring some lighting. nice let's flatten it I will use it and then maybe some on this side uh, maybe here and on the shoulder 
on the color here then I can indicate this arm it's nice I like it it's a, com it's a color uh, combination that I rarely use well I use those browns but not as in my main color like the main color of my costume or something and I kinda like it it's fun to use Let's see if I can bring some black. I would like to add some detail to the to the sword, but I'm not sure I can do that. Doesn't look very nice. So I should probably do that. He's got some attitude, I like it. It's cool. Uh, let's. So, what was I going to do a second ago? One thing I can do is change this black to something else so it doesn't compete with the sword. What would, what would be a nice color? I think it should be dark but I'm not entirely sure maybe it shouldn't maybe I can use a very light color maybe not that light let's try that one nope let's try a gray nope yeah I think I should keep this red or maybe I uh, don't think purple it will work well with this. Maybe this one. Let's stick to the red then. All right. Uh, what do I? What did I want to do? I wanted to. Oh yeah, I wanted to try and bring some backlight. I'm not sure it's a good idea. It's too bright and maybe... Uh, yeah, like this is working. Um, what else? What else? Well, if it is Toshiro Mifune kind of need to make him a little bit scruffy like this I think it helps what else I want to try and bring this one further in the background like so. Let's see if I can, on another layer, I will try and bring some black to this. To make him pop a little. So some here too. Maybe not. And this is not really working. I think it looks like it's bending. I think I need to bring, of course I'm on a new layer. I think I need this and, no actually I don't. What I need is the opposite, like bring this further back I 
Yep. And then Yeah, now it looks straight. Well, sort of. It still look a little bit uh, let's see if I get rid of this and then what if I bring this here yep sometimes it doesn't matter it doesn't work when I try and uh, paint it by hand so I try to copy things if I can where can I improve this maybe increase the size of this bring some light to this area yep I will add some black here on this side not too much don't like that black line here I think that's better all right I think I should keep it as it is maybe improve this light a little bit do it on another layer That's better. So I guess that's my flip flop. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't see anything that I should change. So I will keep it. That's my pixel art of the day. Well, uh, if you have any questions you want me to answer, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments or come talk to me on Twitter or whatever. All right. I see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.